guys were with me the other day while we were kitting out Pearl and what you didn't see in that video is that right after Brownie went into labor. So we were out with Brownie last night and it's kind of nice after having a day that we had yesterday, but look at Pearl. She loves her baby. Look at him curled up right there. Oh my gosh. That makes it all worth it. Well, that birth was really emotional for me and way outside my comfort zone. It happened so fast. And after talking with my husband and actually looking over um, the dead doe kid, I don't think that she was alive to begin with. I feel she may have been stillborn. She had a couple of things that looked wrong with her. Um, and sometimes you just have that. Sometimes you just have a kid that didn't develop right and didn't come out right. And there's not a whole lot you could have, could have done about it. But you guys haven't seen Brownie's babies yet, so let's go and take a look at them. Napping. Mossy still wants to be a good mommy. She cannot handle these new babies next to her. And here's one of the butt kids, and he is just so beautiful. There he goes. He's bumping. He wants some drinkies. Here's a doe. And then here's little Mr. Buck. He is just a bundle of sweetness. This is really good to see, too, guys. She's a new mommy, so. First time fresheners sometimes get a little confused and last night she was just enamored with her babies, so much so that she was just cleaning them. This is Brownie's baby goat and she is was a little sick so she would, wouldn't get up. She hasn't been drinking ever since birth probably. And we just fed her and gave her some medicine over there that's laying near my switch. She looks, she's feeling a lot better, being a little bit more active. Did she get on the bottle? Yep. She did. If you look at the bottle, she probably like drunk two or three inches. Mm -hmm. But 16 and she drank two. So she drank two ounces, which is good considering she hasn't drank a whole lot. And we made sure to get colostrum replacement, which we kept in our our kidding kit and we also had colostrum and extra goat's milk from Bojangles again so it comes in handy if you've got a dough with a lot of milk to kind of bring it in and freeze it so that you can use it later and she's doing a lot better guy she was just cleaning them and cleaning them and cleaning them um, it seems like first-time fresheners they just want to look at their babies <laughs> they are she has really good mothering skills and she's really attentive but it's like they just want to look at them and they just get stuck on that cleaning so we did have to tie brownie and let them nurse so that they got that colostrum but also just so she understood that that was a part of it and it helps them to release hormones mothering hormones and um, it, it'll help her milk come in because she's a first-time freshener and her udder isn't as pronounced as the other she's still got a little udder but with these babies bumping and drinking, it's really going to help her have more milk come in and to be more sufficient. So I am so happy that we ended our day on a good note. But guys, I'm telling you what, I am so, I was ecstatic to get a full night's sleep last night. Both babies got a drink around 8 o'clock. Once they have a drink and they're starting to bump on their own, it's, it's a good sign. So I feel like we're going to have more births today just because Belle and Tiana have dropped their udders. But... Guys, I can't get over these little babies. So um, in light of that, since we had more of a heart-wrenching episode yesterday, um, we're just going to do a whole video of baby goats. A lot of these guys are starting to get really active, and they love their human playgrounds. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. At the end of the video, if you found yourself enjoying all these baby goats, uh, go ahead, subscribe, hit the like button, and ding the notifications bell. You don't want to miss when Tiana and Belle have their babies. We've had six does kit out. We only have two more to go. And then we're on a dry spell until the end of March and then again until May. So until then, guys, thanks. Bye. Bye.